Hi, it's Luke from Performance Auto Electrical. And today we're going to be talking about inverters. We, at the moment, have a lot of customers asking and inquiring, and we're installing a lot of inverters. So I thought today I would run through the different types that we fit as far as brands and different wattages. The most common answers I get from inverters is, what size inverter do I need and how long will it run? And my answer 90% of the time to a customer that asks that is how long's a piece of string. We need to know exactly what you want to be able to run in your caravan, how many appliances at, at once do you want to run, and how long do you want to run it for. So once we've worked out exactly that, then we can determine what size inverter. And then once we've worked out what size inverter, how long you think you roughly want to run it for then sort of what size battery bank what size solar you're going to then need to back it up. The most common one I get at the moment is I want to run my aircon. Okay, no problems at all. We can do a, a setup to run your aircon. That, that's, that's not a problem. So to run an aircon in a caravan, you need a 3000 watt, which all these inverters, the different brands, but they're all 3000 watt. As soon as someone says they want to run uh, the aircon, it's a 3000 watt inverter, that's, that's it. That's the size we need to do so. And then how long do you want to run the aircon for? Are you talking half hour while you pull over on the side of the road and have lunch or you want to run it all day and all night? So that is totally different as far as for an hour or half hour to all night or, or all day as far as the battery bank uh, to need to run it um, and also solar or, or charging systems to back it up to get the power back into it once you've run it. A rule of thumb that we say if you want to run a 3000 watt inverter run your aircon you need a minimum of around about 600 amp hours of lithium to do uh, sort of around uh, you know your eight hours of, of run time overnight um, obviously that can still vary how long eight hours you know how exactly hot it is is it still 40 degrees at night is the aircon in the actual van compressor cut in the whole time and running or is it is it circulating on and off because it, the temperature has dropped? So it can still vary. So it is still hard to work work that out. But a, a rule of thumb, sort of a 3000 watt inverter, 600 amp hours of, of, of battery. Look, yes, you can run a, a 100 amp battery. Yes, you can. How long for? You might get five minutes, 10 minutes if you're lucky. Um, so that's the next question um, I, I get asked. Can I run on, on my battery that I've just got in the van already? 100 amp hour or maybe 200 amp hour? Yes, you can. You can run it, absolutely you can. It's just how long for is, is, is you're talking, yeah, on sort of a 100 amp battery, you might get sort of 10 minutes if, if you're lucky um, out of an AGM battery or something like that. I, we also recommend to go uh, lithium batteries for um, your big uh, inverters because obviously you get more capacity out of your lithium batteries and, and faster charging as well. So your lithium is, is what we, re we recommend um, to do. So you, you can do it with AGMs, but obviously it will take longer and, and you can't take the AGMs uh, lower enough really to get your run times, but with the lithium um, you can. The price difference, the next thing is, is uh, we get people saying, oh, I wanna just run my coffee machine and you know, I wanna run my laptop. I don't wanna run my air con. As far as the next size down really from 3000 watt is to go like a 2000 watt inverter. As far as the actual inverter installation and the inverter price, you're generally talking around about $300 difference to go for a 2000 watt, so a slightly um, smaller inverter, which you definitely won't run your air con. I recommend generally is for the, the for the $300 difference to go from a 2000 to a 3000, you just put a 3000 watt in it regardless because you might pull over for lunch, you might be driving, you know, six hours and you're pulling over for lunch or, or, or tea and having a stop and it is hot and you, you might want to run that air con while, you, while you're pulled over doing something like that. So to, to skimp um, for that sort of um, money, I, I, I personally would just go straight for the 3000 watt, but if you want to run a, a toaster and a kettle and all that's once, well then the 3000 watt will do um, sort of two things, two or three things at the one time as well. So the different brands that we um, fit is the iTech World ones, we fit the BM Pro, the Red Arc and the Projector. What determines generally on what brand we install is what charging systems or what systems you've got in your van. So if you've got a van and it's already got a BM Pro system in it, we would generally then fit the BM Pro inverter just to keep everything matching brand wise. Personally, I like matching what you've got in the van. So if something does go wrong, you know that you've got 
all projector brand or all that brand. Uh, and it makes, I think it makes it easier um, for yourself. And obviously, if there is any dramas, if you take it anywhere or you have got, you can taste, take it to the one place that does that brand and, and, and away you go. Um, as, as, as far as how different as what they do, at the end of the day, they all do exactly the same thing. They all produce 3000 watts. They all will, will do what they say they're gonna do. So as, as far as being one better than the other, no, nah, look, we, like I said, we fit all four um, and we're happy to fit all four and send you, you know, all around Australia in, in the harsh conditions with, with any of these brands that we fit here. As far as price range, um, the iTech World one, we supply and fit um, for $3,370 supplied and fitted. So that's wide to every GPO in the caravan. So your aircon will work. The only GPO that we drop out is the battery charger. So when you're running the inverter, your battery charger won't turn on because we don't want it circulating. Um, so when you plug mains power in, yes, your battery charger will kick back in and charge like normal. But when you have the inverter on, your only GPO that won't work in your van when we install it is your battery charger. So yeah, supplied and fitted is 3,370. Um, that's, it's all connected up, um, all ready to go. The next one is your BM Pro, same thing. It's all connected to all GPOs if we do the 3,000 watt, all ready to go, um, which the 3,000 watt one is 3,850. The next one is your, your Red Arc. Supplied and fitted is $5,213. The next one is the 3,000 watt um, projector. Once again, supplied and fitted, $6,000. All GPOs, air cons, washing machines, whatever's in your van will work. So with all the inverters, like I said, if you've got a Red Arc system, we would generally prefer to fit a, a Red Arc one uh, so everything is matching. But we can fit an iTech Weld to a Red Arc system, a BM Pro to a projects the system and vice versa so any inverter here that we uh, supply and install can be fitted to any 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 caravan and any system so it doesn't matter you might not even uh, have any of these brands as far as charging systems um, it doesn't matter what's in your van we can fit mix and match uh, to, to your van uh, regardless of what brand of of charging system or battery management you've got in your van we can fit any brand to any of it it doesn't matter they all talk they all inter interchange and will uh, have uh, no troubles at all by, uh, by doing that. So with the, uh, the inverter install, like I said, we can uh, supply and install any wattage, any brand. Um, also, if you have your own inverter that you've purchased, we can uh, fit that for you. That's no problems at all. Um, the only thing that we, we find, if you do purchase them yourself as far as warranty, you then have to go back to wherever you bought it from and, and go through warranty if there was a problem. If we supply and install it, your whole, the whole system is warranted. If there's a problem with the inverter, you come straight back to us and we hold the warranty and can service the, the warranty. Also, if you are travelling uh, throughout Australia and there was a problem, you have got um, agents throughout Australia for all of these brands that you can go to if you have any dramas. So I've got the iTech Weld 3000 watt inverter just to show you um, what it looks like actually unboxed, how it gets connected as well and what it actually comes with. So all the inverters that we generally fit now um, have automatic transfer switch in it. So it means that if you plug mains power into, this, into the side of the caravan, the mains power that comes into the inverter and then the mains power goes back out the inverter to power up your whole van. If you unplug the mains power and just have, you're just free camping, just running off your batteries, the automatic the, the, uh, transfer in there switches, switches over then to run off the battery. So inside, automatically, it senses whether or not you're on mains power or just running off the battery, it does it automatically. A lot of the inverters now have uh, hard connections to actually plug into the inverter. So the inlet from the caravan gets plugged into it and then the outlet gets hardwired into your caravan. The good thing about a lot of these now are coming with these particular plugs. Um, so let's say the inverter, you're away and the inverter shit itself or the inverter itself, you ran out of power or something like that. You can actually unplug these plugs. Um, they're just like your old kettle type ones and actually plug your cords back into each other like that. So now um, you're running your caravan the way it used to before the inverter got put into it. That is a real good feature that I, that I like. So if you were on holidays and going to caravan parks, you can plug uh, your cords back into each other 
and still keep your 240 volt all running for your vans. A lot of them are hardwired, so you got your, your cables, um, your 240 volt cables, they come in, screw in, and are hardwired, which is good as far as vibrations and connections, you don't get loose connections. But if the inverter itself did uh, shit itself or batteries or something like that, basically with that, you, you sort of got to pack up and, and come home. So it is good now that they're doing this. The other thing that most of the inverters come with is a, a, a screen or a monitor. So the inverter, we generally put under a lounge, under a bed or something like that. Um, and you don't want to have to lift it up um, to turn it on and off. So it comes with a screen um, that we can put somewhere in your van. So it's the on and off switch to actually turn the uh, inverter on and off. Gives you how many watts you're using and how much battery power um, you, you've got in your batteries as well. So it is very handy depending on what battery management systems in your van. Obviously um, a lot of the, the new high tech systems um, will show you that on your original um, screens in the van, how many amps and that sort of stuff. But the good thing about these screens is it will show you the wattage use as well or the power wattage how much you're using on on the inverter screen itself and turn it on and off so look, once again so you don't have to lift up a lounge and, and flick the on and off button or lift up your bed so you can do it all on the screen they all have a rc rcd breaker uh built into the inverter itself also when we hardwire it the you still um, have your rcd um, breakers in your van like normal as well which will all be uh, connected and hardwired uh, to the inverter um, the inverter also has a, a normal power port on the front so you can, if you wanted to, there was something else you wanted to plug in or this went under a bed and you wanted to plug a sleep app machine in or something else you can plug straight into the unit. So with the inverter hookup, the next thing that we see a lot of when uh, people install them themselves is the cabling size is wrong and don't have uh, fuses on the 12 volt side which is very common, we see it all the time. So. When we install uh, the 3000 watt inverters, we use the triple O um, battery cable. Why do we use that? Is so we don't get voltage drop. The biggest problem with the, either the inverters cutting out or not lasting long is the sizing of the cable. It's undersized, um, so what happens is the cable gets hot quick, resistance, low voltage to the inverter, the inverter then cuts out. So with all our 3000 watt inverter installs, we use a triple O um, cable. Also, like I said, we see a lot of the people just connect up the uh, cables to the inverter straight to the battery, no inline fuses. So we use a, an inline fuse that gets bolted into the system. Why do we use a fuse? Well, a fuse is if the inverter itself shorted out or something like that, the fuse blows. Or depending on where the inverter goes and how far the run or where the, the actual this cabling goes, can rub through a chassis rail or someone can put a screw in it or something like that. If that happens, the fuse blows. So that's why we put an inline fuse, which we see a lot of home installs with no fuses in the system. If you don't put a fuse in the system, let's say the inverter shorted out, then the fuse will blow. That's the whole idea of it. So you don't get a meltdown, so you don't have your caravans burning down. That's what we do with all our installations. Once again, it doesn't matter if it's a 150 watt or a 3000 watt all have fuses. Everything needs to be fused on the 12 volt and also no matter what, same on the uh, 240 volt. It's got your uh, RCDs and, and circuit breakers on the 240 volt. At Performance Auto Electrical, we can supply and install any inverters that you have, solar systems, batteries. Uh, we do it all, speak to our team.